309 AM 1220 KHTS, your hometown station. I'm Tori. In studio with me is Judy Penman from Zonta. Hi there, Judy. Hi, how are you? Thank you for letting us be on today. I'm actually very honored that you're here to explain this very, very important event. Uh, Let's start from the beginning. You know about it, I know about it, but maybe some of the listeners don't. So we're going to start from the very beginning. First of all, you're from Zonta. Tell me a little bit about Zonta. Zonta is a worldwide international service organization. Our mission is to empower women and young girls throughout the nation, throughout the world. And basically what we do is we give a third of our money internationally, we give a third of our money locally, and a third of our money to keep our Zonta program going throughout Santa Clarita to help the less fortunate. Excellent. Girls rock. Yes, they do. Hashtag girls rock. Okay, so now leading up to um, the Red Dress Project, uh, Zonta is uh, committed to this event. Um, Let's explain the Red Dress Project for those for those listeners who don't know exactly what's going on. There are red, by the way, there are red dresses. Let me just picture. Let me uh, paint this picture for you. There are red dresses hanging outside on a tree. And there's a reason they're hanging outside on a tree. Go ahead, Judy, explain. Okay, these are seven red dresses that are an indication of the women that we have lost in the Santa Clarita Valley due to Domestic Violence Center in the last year. Just in the last year? We had six last year. Unfortunately, we had to add one this year. Seven just in the Santa Clarita Valley. Which is so sad. And the red symbolizes lifeblood, love, and the color of spilled blood. It's pretty, it's pretty inspiring and pretty dramatic, I think. We are, all, we are hanging these dresses all over Santa Clarita. We've already started at, actually we were down at the market, Farmer's Market last Saturday. Right, the Old Town New, uh, New Hall Farmer's Market. Right. This, this event started last Saturday on the 26th, and you go through, I believe the 10th, is it the yes. 10th? Yes, Of December, December. 10th, right. Um, and you, you will be pretty much all over um, the Santa Clarita Valley with these dresses, bringing awareness. Yes. Uh, and I saw a great hashtag on your card here that says, hashtag, we don't want eight. Right. That's, that's, that's so powerful. It, uh, is. it really is. Um, so tell us, okay, so the, the dresses are displayed outside. You come, you bring awareness to this. Um, wh- why, why the red dress campaign? What, what, do, you, what do you hope to, um, to, to get with this event? Well, this is the second year we've done the red dresses. This is an international Zanta says no campaign and it's we work with the United Nations for 16 days of activism and this is our way of displaying and all of the Zonta clubs throughout internationally do something for this 16 day period we were recently in Nice France and they showed the different dresses actually out of the um, all the clubs that were there internationally our Zonta club was third in doing the best display, our red dress display, which was pretty exciting. They had one from Newfoundland, a Santa club in Newfoundland that had red silhouettes that looked like ghosts, and they were just standing there. It was unbelievable. And how did they do something like that? I, I guess it's so cold there. I don't know, but it was just unbelievable. That's pretty amazing. And so this is a worldwide project to really bring awareness of the presence of domestic violence in our community. And we, th- and we all, we love Santa Clarita. We think nothing goes wrong here because this is awesome We town. tend, we tend and to, yes. And we think yes. that, it, that, that it's the best place to live. We can open our doors. We can do anything, and we can't. And we just have to be aware. We have to be aware. And we have to make sure that everyone is aware. If anyone sees anything happening, you can't be a bystander. You have to just be an activist. You have to make noise. Call 911. Anything you see that you think is just not right, 
You, you have think, to be part of it. Do you think, Judy, over the years, do you think, you know, going back to, um, you know, the O.J. Simpson case, big, big case regarding, and I think that might have been a huge turning point in domestic violence awareness. Uh, I, I, I don't know. What do you think? It, I think so, for it, sure. Yes. Right? A big turning point. I think no one wanted to talk about it years ago. I moved here in 89. And I was involved in Santa in 90, and it, some of my dear friends said, you need to get involved in domestic violence. We need people involved. And at one point, we had half of our board was Santa members and half were Seroptimus women. Mm -hmm. And we were all working together for the same cause, to help women and to do what we could. And that was way back in the days right. when people said, there's no domestic violence in Santa Clarita. I think we might have swept it under the carpet. Right. In some ways. Well, I know Pete, I do know, and I have known some women too, who are afraid uh, to say anything. They are afraid if they share their stories, uh, they would be shamed. Or if they shared their stories, you know, retaliation would happen. There's so much fear. And uh, bringing awareness like this, I think, helps to temper that fear. I'm hoping so. We are hoping so. I think there's so much intimidation. The poor women don't have that self-esteem. Oh, yes. And that's one of the reasons we have Zanta. Zanta's there to mentor, to help to get involved with uh, with the awareness and to work with Domestic Violence Center, to work with the Sheriff's Department, work with the city, and we do all of that. We, we keep our, we want, Zanta wants to be out there in the community to let people know that we care. We want to help you. If there's a woman that's out there and desperate, she should come to us. She should let us know. We, we need to help her. Absolutely. There's got to be a way that we can all work together. With the exception of last year, you said last year you had six dresses, this year seven. With that exception, uh, you, you've you started this two years, this is your second year? Of the red dresses. Of the red dresses. Right. Now, do you think over the years, since, you know, just m using the OJ case as a benchmark, do you think over the last 20 years or so that we are bringing awareness and we are helping, do you think the statistics show that we're making a dent. I think we are. Are I we? I think we are. With our Domestic Violence Center we have here and the dynamic executive director we have who's so forethought and so proactive, I believe we're really making a dent. I think it's been a big deal. Before we did red dresses, we had a project that was t-shirts and we hung them in the mall mm -hmm. and they didn't seem to get the awareness that we had. Before the t-shirts, we had shoes. And we collected shoes from all the people, and it was from all over the area, though, of women that had died. Mm -hmm. And that was a big shoe tree, and that was quite emotional. But I think this red dress idea is better. I hope we never have to add another dress, ever. 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 Hashtag, wait a minute, I want to get it right. Hashtag, we don't want eight. I love that. One last thing before you go, I know you, you guys are all over the Santa Clarita Valley, and uh, contact information. Let's get some contact information. If there is a woman out there listening right now, should they go to scvzonta.org and get in touch with you guys there uh, for any kind of help or awareness? And or, can they can, or they can call, you know, of course, they should always call the sheriff's station, mm -hmm. which would be, and I can give you that number. They can commit a crime by calling the Crime Stoppers. Um, they can text to crimes. They, they just need to, if they need help, they need reach to out. get help right away and reach out. Reach out. Don't wait. Don't wait. Because I don't want you to be number eight. And the fear, and let's, and let's try and get rid of the fear. Yes. Let's try and get rid of the fear. Uh, and there are people who will help with not only emotional support, physical support. It, it, it's, it's, it's coming together. It's starting to come together. Right. And thanks to a great organization like Zanta and yourself and your colleagues who are outside, um, you know, with the dresses right now um, on Main Street here in front of the station. Thank you, right. Judy, so much Thank for you. spending some time with us and, and explaining how important uh, bringing awareness is to this Red Dress campaign. Well, thanks to KHTS. So they keep us informed of what's going on all over our community. Oh. What would we do without our hometown station? Oh, it's, it is, it's, absolutely, it's absolutely my pleasure. Thank Thank you so, so Thank much. Thank you so much. We listen to you every day. Thank you.